Shalom, good evening. This is TV7 Israel News broadcast to you from Jerusalem and in today's top stories. A fragile humanitarian pause to the war which Hamas forced upon Israel on the 7th of October when it committed a massacre has been extended by two days. International pressure on Israel is seemingly mounting, with global actors calling for a two-state solution to the Israel-Arab conflict. The IDF announces its preparedness to resume fighting at the end of the extended humanitarian pause. A fragile pause to the military dimensions in Israel's war against murderous terror groups in the Hamas-plagued Gaza Strip has been extended by two days. The parties involved agreed yesterday that the pause in fighting would be extended by an additional two days in exchange for Hamas's consent to free 10 more hostages on each day. Moreover, Hamas has also managed to extort an Israeli commitment that would secure the release of another 50 Palestinians that are serving time in prison for terror-related convictions. Meanwhile, as the agreed-upon parameters have been adopted by both Jerusalem and Doha, the Israeli Justice Ministry posted online the names of 50 female terrorists who may be released from prison in the context of the extended deal. Nevertheless, IDF spokesman Rear Admiral Daniela Gari stressed during his daily briefing that until the exchange agreement is carried out, nothing is guaranteed. נדרש להתאזר בסבלנות, אנחנו, מתנהלים, אנחנו מנהלים מתווה, דרך מתווכים, מסביב לשעון. שום דבר לא סגור עד שהוא לא מתרחש בפועל. דברים מתקדמים, גם הלילה, נדרש להמתין בסבלנות. אדמירל הגארי went on to highlight that one of the hostages, an 84-year-old elderly woman, who was released yesterday from Hamas captivity, is currently undergoing life-saving treatment after enduring Hamas brutality absent basic medical needs, which are due under international law. During the Hamas massacre of October 7th, Elma was taken hostage by savage terrorists. She was dragged into Gaza on the back of a motorbike. Elma, Elma was in Hamas captivity for 51 days and nights. She was kept in a, in a harsh condition. She was denied life-saving medication. She was not visited by the Red Cross. When she was released from captivity, she was in a critical condition. Elma is a reminder of her critical mission. Now she's home. She's being taken care of. But who's taking care of other hostages in Gaza? Over 150 of our hostages, men, women, children, babies, who's taking care of them? Who is holding a 10 months old baby, Kfir Bivas? I'll tell you, ruthless terrorists are holding him hostage in Gaza. The IDF spokesman continued by calling on the international community and the Red Cross in particular to do everything in their power to ensure the safety of all hostages in Hamas captivity. We call on the international organization, especially the Red Cross, to use every tool at their disposal to gain access to our hostages, to make sure they're receiving the medical care they need. Our hostages are not lost. We won't sit around and hope they're found. We will rescue our hostages at all costs. It is our duty it is our moral responsibility of the Israeli Defense Forces. It's why we fight and why we must keep on fighting until all our hostages are home. Admiral Hagari went on to underscore the IDF's preparedness to resume fighting with the aim of freeing all hostages and eradicating the Islamist Hamas and its terror affiliates throughout the Gaza Strip. <laughs> ערוכים מבצעית על קווי ההפוגה ומוכנים לביצוע שלבי המלחמה הבאים. הלוחמים יוצאים בסבבים להפוגות מחוץ לרצועה לצורך מנוחה, אימונים, העלאת הכשירות וקידום המוכנות להמשך המלחמה. במקביל, משלימים מערכות בציוד ובתחמושת 
והעלאת הכשירות, הכלים המוגנים, שיאפשרו את המשך הלחימה. אנחנו נחושים לחזור ולהעמיק את ההישגים שלנו בשדה הקרב, כאשר לנגד עינינו שתי מטרות, השבת החטופים ופירוק חמאס. It is important to highlight that the Jerusalem cabinet approved the decision to extend the so-called humanitarian pause as part of Israel's efforts to return all hostages from Hamas captivity. ביחס לחטופים, אנחנו ממשיכים במתווה כפי שסוכם, ואנחנו ממשיכים גם ביעד המרכזי שאמרנו, להביא לשחרור חטופינו, להשלים את חיסולו של החמאס, וכמובן גם להבטיח שבעזה לא ישנה האיום הזה, לא יהיה מה שהיה ולא יהיה גם משטר שמעודד טרור, מחנך לטרור, משלם לטרור. While Jerusalem is vocally resolute to resume the war after the pause runs its course, Qatar, which is a key patron of Hamas, as part of which it hosts the terror group's political leadership in Doha, is working tirelessly to exploit its role as a mediator to try and force an end to the Hamas-instigated conflagration. Regarding what we will be working on uh, in the next 48 hours, so, of course, Andrew, our main focus right now is, and our hope is to reach a sustainable truce that would lead to further negotiations and eventually to an end to, uh, to this iteration of violence, to, uh, to this war. And uh, we have always said that we need the push of the whole international community to make sure that uh, that happens. However, we are working with what we have. And what we have right now is a provision to the agreement that allows us to extend days as long as Hamas is able to uh, guarantee the release of at least 10 hostages uh, from, uh, from, this, uh, from their side. And uh, therefore, this is what we have at the moment. Alongside the Qatari efforts, foreign ministers of Egypt, Saudi Arabia, and other regional and Western nations have joined together to call for a ceasefire to take hold with their expressed intentions of utilizing an international momentum to force upon Israel their aspired two-state solution. The two-state solution is still the consensus of the international community, but at this stage it is not a matter of a process, a process to manage the conflict and not reach a uh, conclusion and the establishment of the Palestinian state is not acceptable. The international community has the ability, the mechanism the, uh, to enforce a two-state solution, to implement a two-state solution. The, the issues uh, have been negotiated between the two parties over the span of uh, three decades and uh, we cannot rely any longer uh, on the reoccurrence of uh, conflict uh, by virtue of policies that do not support peace, but support uh, increasing violence and, and uh, polarization. We, we believe it is time to implement the two-state solution. It is time to create the Palestinian state so that we can finally have a conclusion to this conflict. It was a good meeting. Uh, we delivered our message. Uh, it's important that we have a ceasefire immediately, that we build on the current truce that is in place. We must ensure more access for humanitarian goods. 170 trucks is not enough. We need to end this conflict now. Thank you. These remarks were made on the sidelines of a forum for the Union of the Mediterranean in the Spanish city of Barcelona, which included nations that have altered their initially voiced support for Israel to eradicate the Islamist Hamas. Alongside the absence of an Israeli delegation at the forum, Germany, which remains a steadfast supporter of the right of the Jewish state to defend itself, reiterated that anyone voicing anti-Semitic hatred or anti-Israel agitation would face Berlin's unapologetic resolve. Klar ist, jeder hat das Recht, gerade in Demokratien seine Meinung kundzutun. Aber antisemitischer Hass und anti-israelische Hetze sind keine Meinung. Wer in Deutschland lebt und das Existenzrecht Israels in Frage stellt oder gar den Holocaust relativiert, der trifft auf unseren erbitterten Widerstand mit all seinen Konsequenzen. Berlin's top diplomat further highlighted that Germany's special relations with Israel alongside the trust which Arab nations reserve for Germany could be utilized as a mediator to realize a much needed solution to the current crisis at hand. Gerade weil unser Land Deutschland klar an der Seite Israels steht 
und Vertrauen bei arabischen Ländern genießt, können wir und ich glaube, müssen wir als Brückenbauer fungieren. It is important to know that alongside Western and Arab efforts to realize a solution to the crisis at hand, China is also trying to play a role in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Chesloshianhuani Thank you for watching TV7 Israel News. I'd like to encourage you to pray for the peace of Jerusalem and salvation of Israel. Moreover, if you're blessed by our daily updates and would like to help us bear the cost of these accumulating productions, since TV7 Israel is 100% donation-based, please consider making a donation. You can do so by visiting our website at www.tv7israelnews.com. I'm Jonathan Hassan, wishing you an Erev Mevorach, and God willing, we'll see you during our upcoming TV7 Israel updates. Until then, Shalom from Jerusalem.